have you ever wondered how MATLAB reads a matrix? Does it go row by row or a column by column? So well, the answer might surprise you and once you understand this logic, many MATLAB operations will suddenly make a lot more sense and even you can feel more connected with MATLAB. You just think of it like this. You are reading a newspaper. How do you read it? So you read down first row till the end and then you jump to the next row till the end. So that's exactly how MATLAB does not work. MATLAB read matrices in column major order. That means it reads down the first column then moves to the second column and it reads from top to bottom. So now let's take small example to understand it better. So this is our matrix. First let me save this file. So now let me run this section. So as a result here you can see this matrix has two rows and three columns and this is what we can see. And now let me tell you how internally MATLAB stores this matrix into it. This is how MATLAB stores this data inside it. Even though here we see row first, right? But MATLAB sees these things as column first. So it starts at the top of the first column, then moves down. Then it jumps to the top of second column and moves down. And it will keeps on doing the same thing. So remember, MATLAB stores matrices column by column. Now let me show you one very interesting thing. What happen if we access this matrices using single indexed number? Let's say A of 3. And now let's run. So here is our answer. So what we did, here we have wrote the third element of this matrix. Now how do MATLAB counts it? So it will start with first element, then second element. If it has third row, then it will move to the third element. But it does not have third row. So what it does, it will jump to the next column. And this element becomes the third element in the matrix. So MATLAB stores like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now after knowing this thing, there is an important question. And the question is this, why this thing matters? Why it is important to know that how MATLAB stores matrices within MATLAB? So to know this thing and to understand this thing is very important because this column first logic affects many operations in MATLAB. Functions like find function, reshape, sort and even for loops all behaves based on this ordering. And we have seen the importance of this thing in the video of find function. If you have not seen the video of find function, I'll provide you the link to watch the video of find function so that you can relate it more so in short you must remember that when you are working with matrices in matlab always think in column first manner so now before we end this video there is a quick short question for you here in this b matrix what will be the answer of b of 6 think about it and drop your answer into the comments so if this helps you to understand how matlab stores matrices within it Give this video a like and subscribe for more MATLAB tips and tricks like this. And yeah, you can comment if you'd like me to explain any of the important function that you want to utilize for your coding. So, see you into the next video. Till that time, bye bye.